Uh, in this example, uh, we're going to be using uh, sine and cosine again to calculate sling loading. Pretty much the same thing as in the other problems with a little bit of a twist on it, but it's the same concept. Uh, we have an object weighing 11,900 pounds suspended from a beam by two equal length cables. The included angle to the vertical is 112 degrees. See the diagram. And I went ahead and, and have the diagram for you. If the diagram is provided for you in the, in the uh, question, I still recommend drawing out your own diagram uh, on your scrap piece of paper. And you know, what we're trying to do is find the loading on each cable. Hey, and I've got finally got the question mark in there like it should be. I don't have to draw it in. Uh, but again, we need to find the sling loading in each leg of this sling. Again, we can think of this as an upside down two leg sling with the load suspended from a beam by two cables. Again, upside down two leg sling. Uh, the angle in the picture diagram is 112 degrees. Uh, that will help us determine. You know, we, the problem didn't give us the uh, angle to the horizontal like it did in previous problems. The only uh, the only angle measurement it gave us was 112 degrees. But we can use this information to determine what the angles to the horizontal are. And this assumes a symmetrical uh, load, symmetrical rigging, and that they're the same on both sides. Um, but there's 180 degrees in a triangle. We have 112. 180 minus 112 equals 68. 68 divided by 2 equals 34 degrees in each angle. Uh, we have the weight of the load. We need to divide that weight by the number of cables. We have 2. 11,900 divided by 2. Go ahead and check my math here. Fifty-nine fifty. That's the number we're starting with for calculating our our sling loading. Bisect the inverted rigging triangle, which, just like the other problems, creates two right triangles, and we're going to use fifty-nine fifty. Uh, treat it as a force vector, uh, and it's going to be used to represent the value for this vertical side. Uh, we have everything we need to use sine to solve for the sling loading. We have the 34 degree angle. We have 5,950 as the value for this side. Use sine opposite over hypotenuse. And again, because it's upside down, let me just, okay, this is our reference angle, which makes this the opposite side, and this is the hypotenuse. Again, hypotenuse, sorry. Uh, the long side of a right triangle is always going to be the hypotenuse. So plug in the value for the opposite, 5950. Solve for the hypotenuse. And we just slide the 5950 over to the left side of the equal sign, make it the numerator, and use sine 34 as the denominator. We do the math, we end up with 10,625 pounds as the sling loading on each leg of this two-leg cable assembly. But I want to go back and double check my math and I want to show you something different that I haven't been showing you uh, in these calculations. Could save you some time, save you a step on the exam. Again, we have 5950. Oh, let me back up. We have 5950 over sine 34. Sine 34 equals 0.559, we'll, we'll call that 0 0.56. Take 5950 divided by 0 0.56, 10,625 pounds is our sling loading. But there's another way we could have done that to save a step with the calculator. You guys have probably been yelling at the screen saying, why is, it, why is he doing it that way? Why is he doing it that way? Well, I do it that way to show it to you step by step. But you can do 5950 
you can plug all of this into your calculator right here all that term into your calculator so 5950 divided by the sine of 34 go ahead and close that parentheses because sometimes if you don't close the parentheses uh, the calculator doesn't like it so we got 5950 divided by the sine of 34 and it's going to be a little bit different because of rounding uh, because I in the previous example the way it is in the slide I rounded sine 34 to two decimal places when you enter everything into it you're not rounding sine 34 to two decimal places so it's going to be different but it is going to be close enough for the CSP exam to allow you to to uh, choose the best answer on the CSP exam uh, 10,640.33 is the sling loading you get if you enter uh, this term all at once into the calculator. All right, that's pretty much it, but there is one more point I want to emphasize or to remind you of, and this, this hits back at why we do these sling loading calculations. You know, if a rigger had made the mistake of assuming the load on each leg would be one half the load weight, which would be 5,950, each leg would have been greatly overloaded. Because of the angle of the sling, the sling tension was over 10,600 pounds. The sling tension, the sling loading, was almost double half of the load weight. So, or it was almost equal to the load weight, uh, the original load weight. So again, it's very important when you're uh, planning uh, a lift, you're designing a rigging plan to take into consideration the sling loading that that may be in effect. All right, well, I'm going to let you go on this video. We have one more video uh, on this subject. And in that video, we're going to use cosine to calculate sling loading.